Crowded Gamers here again with Sid and BJ. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, you'll notice that we are in a new clubhouse. Sydney has upgraded himself to motorcycle president and has purchased a two floor um, sweet little hideout. Or <laughs> we're doing like a little tour. There's graffiti on the walls. He's got a barista lady. Very basic. Very basic. Very, very, very basic, basic. But it looks really cool. I like the, I like how you have this uh, pride brew, and it's like yellow and green, like the uh, Brazilian team. This is what it came with, to be honest. Oh, it looks good though. I like it. I like it. Now, now the tables have turned, and I am the VP for him, and we will do missions in order to get him more money, and we'll upgrade his um, clubhouse. Clubhouse. Okay, so uh, while you get that started, I uh, I checked out the uh, the video you sent me, the Graham Hancock one. Yeah, I, I'd seen it before. Basically, it's like... Uh, is, it, is it three different uh, podcasts? Not, uh, not podcasts, not, uh, different uh, lectures? Talks. Not that one. Yeah. I couldn't see oh. the other ones, but like I had seen that one that you sent me before. And uh, it's interesting because like, his whole uh, perception is like when you do like DMT and stuff, you go into like a psychedelic realm in which you see entities from a different um, world and stuff. And okay. like, I don't know how I feel about that. It's like because cause they're saying like it's like you can mistake them for angels or like aliens and stuff like dmt gets released all the time it, it's basically what's like your dreaming ability mm -hmm. you know and like uh oh like what what do you think about like uh aliens or well no not even aliens just like a different life outside of our own with like entities that are pushing us to do their whim um, yeah, you think it's possible i don't think anything of it <laughs> do you <laughs> okay okay i feel you do you do, yeah. well do, in, in your in your uh in your sphere of perception would you say oh wait would you uh place any emphasis on like aliens demons like do you believe in aliens and demons uh, no no well why, why not because that's just for me it's just uh, that is a creation of the mind of that person creating for sure it. A demon or yeah so it's like to me it's not real so that's why i don't think of it oh i see i see that's i see i don't care to think of, because right. i don't think it's real so it's like it doesn't matter to me got you got you but but there's this whole movement you know with like all these people that do psychedelics and then they begin to believe like oh there's like spirit entities that are like um telling me what to do honestly i think if like you had a spirit entity i don't think at all that they're going to waste their time you know trying to like divulge the secrets of the universe to you you know i i i personally think it's all like mental as well i agree with you you know it could just be them like messing with their own heads and there's no way to actually tell whoops <laughs> are you uh, jumping ooh. on with me yeah, yeah i was gonna jump on with you uh and there's no way to actually you tell you know? oh my goodness on, all right cool, cool, got you got you and and there's no way to like tell you know like so like what what benefit would i guess it would be like religion you know what benefit would there be to believing in uh, angels and stuff and like entities from a different realm you know it it almost seems like just another way to cope with like death you know it, it's yeah that that makes sense like have, have you heard of but like yeah, that? that's why it's like it doesn't make doesn't make sense to me because it's like it doesn't matter i don't believe in it so it doesn't matter what people say about angels or demons and stuff totally 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 totally, totally. i i agree with you um i uh i recently had this but i don't uh, search for it for sure that's yeah, the you, one thing you're not looking that's why like, you it, know yeah. i don't search i don't i'm not looking for it if it's real i'm not looking for it i'm gonna stay ignorant <laughs> yeah if totally. it is real unless it's like measurable unless, unless there's some utilitarian purpose to it but i i uh I was having this conversation with this guy about like past lives and like the ability to transport ourselves like from this dimension into like who we once were and uh, Joe Rogan makes this really funny joke about like uh, people who remember their past lives it's like they always believe themselves to be like some great king or emperor you know what I mean it's like okay. it's never like yeah. it's never like I was a peasant you know so the dude I was talking to it's like it's like yeah I remember my past life and it's like I was this great person and it's like oh of course you would think you're a great person you know it's like and and like I was like 
I was doing all the things that I do now. And it's like, yeah, because your subconscious is telling you that you're on the right path or you want your subconscious to tell you that you're on the right path. You know, it's, it's mm. right. Right. It, it, it's along the lines of like the, the entities in a different world. It's like, how do you even know that you have a past life? Do you believe in past lives? Mm. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, because no. it's like it—it it doesn't seem very logical. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no. Like, how would you even remember your past? Your brain is completely different from the brain you once had. I mean, like maybe like you have some Assassin's oh. Creed type thing where it's like you remember through your genetics. You know. <sighs> well, the only thing. Past, the only thing that's closest to a past life is are the genetics past life. So, yeah. for me to say that I lived a past life, uh -huh. the only yeah, the only way I can say that is, oh, he's dead. Oh, he died. Too bad. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I'm gonna die. Just to let you know. All right, it's all good. Yeah, so you're saying? Yo. Um, what was I? What was I saying? Sorry about, <laughs> about past lives. You're like the only way for me to. Yeah, the only the only thing closest to a past life is the genes passed on from like your father. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I actually, I'll I'll do you one better than that. There's uh, the Native American, you know, like circle of life. So I will say that I have had a past life simply because um energy is never created or destroyed so in some mm -hmm. way uh, i was probably like a bird i wouldn't remember that i was a bird but like energetically speaking i'm pretty sure that like because like think about it if you die you're going to decompose the worms are going to eat you the bird's going to eat the worm you know what i mean uh are you going to be in a casket when you die um, I don't know. Because if you're going to be in a casket, then no, the, no, no worms or no nothing is going to be eating you because a wooden box is going to be protecting you from. How how long will that wooden box last, though? I'm pretty sure the wooden box will decompose over some time. Now. I have no. I'm not sure. W would you? Do would they? you get a? Uh, would you get buried alive? Uh, like not buried alive, but would I you would get a life? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no way. But but would you get into a casket or would you do like cremation? No. I want to be. I want no, no cremation. Really? There's no, there's no worth, no worth, uh, into the world for that. You know? Oh, like, so what would you do? Skip, like just bury me into the ground. Oh wow! So like not yeah. even like a casket. You just like just bury me. No, just just bury me so that the the soil can take my nutrients and the bugs oh, that's, eat me. That's really circle interesting, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, I like that. The I like that. Real circle of life. Yeah, I like the real that. Real circle of life. You know what the funny part yeah. is when you die, like. It's up to the person, really, <laughs> whoever's like gonna take care of that, because you'll have no say. You'll be dead. I know, but I, I agree but with you. My, like, that would be my request. I would not want to be in a casket. I don't want to be. Um, I do not want to be burned and mm. get turned into ashes because then you have killed all the energy that I could have provided to. That's true, yo. That's that's very true. Like other things. things could have been eating. Things could have been like whatever. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that. One. I could, I could give you, give them the, you know, like, I don't know, I, I don't know. That's what I would like, but then people will fear the zombie thing. <laughs> the zombie thing. Well, there and could ghosts, be because you'll be like, oh, like, uh, oh, your, your, your grandfather is, is buried. <laughs> yeah, buried totally, here. totally, totally, oh totally. God. So I, I wonder what the whole things. like. I wonder what the whole ghost like resonance thing is. Like you know, they say like, oh, if if somebody was like murdered here, you can feel it, you know. And it's like, I wonder if that's really real, you know? Because like, like what is the level of energy that's given off? Would they, would they have known? Off? Would they have known that someone died before someone telling them that someone died in this room? I don't know. Yeah. Like I I don't know how like those like um those people those uh. Someone's chasing you. Yo, oh no, I oh, had you so my bad. Um, I don't know how like those like uh, clairvoyants do it. You know what I mean? It's like they somehow are they're, able to like. They're probably yeah, exactly. They're probably in another reality that we cannot see. Like how sure. dogs can hear hear that dog whistle and we barely hear the thing. You know? 
yeah, true. like that different waves. Then maybe they're in a different, yeah, different reality. Actually, that, that is pretty interesting. It's like um, we like different birds will see different light, and like dogs don't even see color. So it's like, well, that's kind of a waste for them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, mm. I, I see what you're saying. Well, it's well like, it doesn't. I don't think it. Um, it wasn't useful for them, right? So that's yeah, why. exactly. Exactly, yeah. So there's definitely alternate realities within this one reality, you know? It just depends on what you consider an alternate reality. Exactly. Yeah, o- oftentimes the stuff will get, like, uh, inflated in order to sell, you know? Yeah. Do, do you remember Blink-182? I'm going to blow your mind yeah. with this one. This is going to, like, mess you up. All right, so remember how I was, like, obsessed with Tom Long? Like, he was my favorite. He's like, my hero growing up, like, musically. Uh I just know Blink-182. I don't know the details of who's in it or nothing. Okay, well, well, he was the lead guitar player, and, like, I loved his music and, like, whatever, whatever. So, like, he had a falling out. Like, ever since I've known of him, uh, he he was always obsessed with, like, aliens and stuff, right? But I was like, oh, that's just, like, a healthy obsession, right? It's like, mm-hmm. whatever, right? And then, um, so, uh, he... He was in his band and then like he broke up with his band, right? And he started like a new band called Angels and Airwaves. And then that that yeah. started to get oh, a little Oh yeah, this guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. guy, that guy. And it started to get a little more weird. It was like, okay, your music's getting a little less like pop rock and more about like weird consciousness, spirituality, like alien stuff, right? You're getting a little odd. So then he like he then kind of disbanded angels and airwaves and then he was like underground for a while right and then he'd always like randomly post videos of like or like pictures of him with like caa members and like people from the pentagon and stuff white house you know like oh i'm working on some top secret stuff you know interesting and, and so then maybe, he, well maybe there are aliens yeah, for just... sure for sure for sure yeah, yeah wait, wait, wait the story's not done yeah this is gonna <laughs> my, my okay, blow, you know? so then okay, he go. um so then he like wrote this book blah blah, blah. and then uh like a, a two weeks ago he posted a video it was like a live stream video and he's like i'm here with my new company to the stars academy and we are dedicated to entertainment and um building of alien technologies and i was like what the hell so i kept watching and it was like oh, yeah. i know right and he was like he's like my my team and i are all ex former cia members uh very highly decorated very highly classified all that stuff and he's like we are going to invent alien technology uh such as like anti-gravity um time warp propelling uh material all this stuff like we i know i was like yo you go cray cray bro like what's going on right now yo it's like how if it's true though that is awesome if if it's true if it's true so then uh so then like uh but it was like well then how come elon musk doesn't know about this stuff like why is it only you who's like with the alien and like the cia members all that stuff right maybe elon musk is not looking into the aliens and maybe maybe totally totally. he, he was so fascinated of the aliens in the first place for sure for sure yeah totally totally that it got to a point where he found maybe knowledge that no one has ever searched for you know? uh, agreed agreed so so then um so he's been doing this for like 20 years and then i saw last night he was on joe rogan i was like perfect because joe rogan all he's like my bullshit detector like joe rogan's really good at calling people out right and just asking the questions exactly the right questions and dude this guy is off the rocker it's crazy uh, so it it made me so sad i was like no i loved you and your music and stuff but then like um him on joe rogan joe rogan's like oh because joe rogan's very into like aliens and like secret technologies and stuff right he was like obsessed as well so he's like oh yeah like do you know about zachariah sitchin right because um so basically this guy he believed that there was an alien planet that would come close to earth every like Twelve thousand years or something like that and like uh he will evolve like that that planet will evolve societies and species so like interesting they'll they'll like take the monkeys from here and they'll like add in their like godlike dna and then they'll create like life forms like us right so that guy yeah. was totally full of bs like like joe rogan went down the rabbit hole and he like studied and stuff and then he found out like this guy's like full of bs so then joe rogan's but i've seen like a lot of joe rogan episodes so like he always him and eddie bravo you know eddie bravo mm-hmm. yeah so and him and eddie bravo and alex jones they were really into this stuff and then joe rogan kept like debunking them right and then like he's yeah. like so do you believe in zachariah sitchin and then uh tom long's like yeah 100 percent. i was like oh my god because like joe rogan's like debunked this guy 
and yet you believe in them. You know what I mean? It's like you believe in all of the false people. Uh. You know what I mean? And, the, and then it, it's, it started to make me think like, because he was like, so, so one of the things is like, he's like, um, he's like, how do you, how do you know that this is like real? And he's like, well, anybody who studies stuff online for 20 years, like I have, you're able to piece it all together. Online? Like, I know, right? And he's like, he's like, I've, I've studied all of the top, uh, stuff from online, like ever since the internet first came out and like, um, like uh, Wikipedia. Yeah. And, like, and I, I've been categorizing things and like, he's like, I'm, I'm sort of like CIA, like intelligence operatives in the CIA. I'm like their level because I've studied it, that much. Uh, and it was like, so how about I all these can't pictures? believe it. Yo. What pictures of all these government officials w- were with him? Yeah. What are these? So, uh, so, uh, these, uh, so pictures. You, no, not, not pictures. Like where are they from? They're, they're actually on the team. So, um, you know, like really, the C- yeah, the, the CIA used to have this, uh, CIA spy program where they tried to do like telekinesis. You know, they used to they used to try and train their agents in <laughs> telekinesis, right? Okay. And the, and the guy, so Joe Rogan did. You know, Joe Rogan did. Uh, Joe Rogan questions everything. Yeah. So yeah. so he went. I he, didn't, I've never I never watched it though. All right. So he he tried to he went to see if that stuff was real, like the psychic spies, and like he ended up debunking it, right? And then Tom mm-hmm. DeLong was like, "Oh, the head. Oh, nice. I got fourteen thousand. How much you get? See. Nice. So uh, let's head back to your motorcycle club." Yeah, can you pick uh, me up? Yeah, for sure. I'm stuck. Uh, so, so then he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, oh, the head of my program is the guy who invented the psychic spy program, and then freaking Tom, uh, freaking Joe Rogan's like, what the hell is going on? He actually ended the the freaking interview early, yo. You could tell, like, he was like, and uh, yeah, it was great. It was great getting to meet you. Uh, we'll just end it now. <laughs> you know, he was like, dang, yo. It was an hour and 40 minutes. There. An hour and 40. Well, at least he stayed over an hour and 40. For sure, but it was getting cray cray, so he had to like stop it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was making me feel really bad. I was like, dude, like, how far down the rabbit hole can you get into this stuff that you actually go crazy? You know what I mean? And like, it, it's like, it, the, again, it was like, it was like about the whole pathologies, right? It's like, what, what do you believe that nobody else can see? Because you make your own reality, right? So to Tom DeLong, he believes that he is the truth purveyor of like life. You know, he's like, I know the secrets that nobody knows. But then, like mm-hmm. the people that have studied like scientific, he even said like Tom DeLong's like, um, sorry, Joe Rogan's like, why don't you get in touch with um, Elon Musk? And then Tom DeLong's like, he's like, yeah, man, like uh, our next technology, Elon's definitely gonna jump on board with. And it was like. So it's called like a qubit or something. It's the size of a shoebox. And what they do is they shoot atoms at the, okay. uh, or like electrons at the shoebox and it explodes. Like it makes many explosions. And those mini explosions are what are going to create um, hover cars. But it's the like, explosion. How are you going to keep it constant? That exactly. Uh, that's, that's what Joe Rogan said. He's like, it's he's an like, explosion. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So Joe Rogan's like, you can't control explosions. Exactly. So, so Tom DeLong's like, he's like, well, they do it with CERN, right? Like the whole, um, you know, they shoot particles at them at, at each other, right? So they're trying to make the Big Bang, right, with CERN. Yeah. So then Joe, but they're Joe trying Rogan's to recreate like, the Big Bang. There's it, no exactly, but it's but not trying to. Okay, go on. But go it's on. the same idea of shooting <sighs> one particle, right? And Joe Rogan's like, yeah, but it's like miles long. Their technology, like the the actual CERN thing, is huge. So it's like, how are you gonna make a hover car if they require like a huge ass fucking machine? You know what I mean? <sighs> I know, dude. Yeah. I was watching. I was like, "Oh my god, you honestly yeah, maybe left he your knows rocker." The truth and, yeah, maybe he knows the truth, and we don't know, and we're just blind to it. I don't For know, sure, but, For, that's what Joe but, Rogan posted. Yeah, he's yeah. like, "I want to believe." In his uh, freaking uh, caption, it was yeah. so funny, dude. Oh uh, yeah, but it, it makes yeah. you think, yo. Like, how many other people around you are so obsessed with a specific truth that's like so weird? But they believe it so much, you know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of them. Oh, uh, totally, right? Exactly, exactly, man. And like, this is uh, like you know, like those young Earth Christians who believe that the Earth is like six thousand years old. 
But it's like evolution tells us it's millions and millions of years old. But they don't believe that. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's like that doesn't add up. Like science is telling you that it's one way and you're believing it's a different way because you are, you know, of a specific faith. You know, the crazy part is like when you talk about faith, that's the real problem because faith requires you to believe believe bl- blindly. Blindly. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, you have to have yeah. faith, bro. Wait, is this mine or yours, bro? This is yours. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait. This is not where I'm we were far. meant to go. I'm all the way over here. All right. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yo. So, like, I don't know. Maybe we'll have technology like that one day and it'll be sick. But, That'll like, be cool. But I don't know the relevance in that. I, I do think, cool. though, that that earth has been hit by ask like I, I do believe that we've we've done this before you know but i i don't think it's like god like i don't know why people man everyone's just so obsessed with like aliens and god like why can't you be content with what's in front of you you know that's that's what the, the yogi it's knows a, you know uh, it's the escape of the, uh, their own reality exactly yeah it's it's like you can't even accept reality for how it is you need to like create this weird fictitious thing you need to believe in yourself like you need to believe that you are a higher dimensional being before you can even believe in yourself you know what i mean it's like Mm. hey man you do anything you want and then you don't believe it unless you tell yourself you're a higher dimensional being yeah you know but i guess but i guess we we all tell ourselves stories all the time it'd be crazy to see like can we say that we are escaping reality right now by playing this video game uh, I'm using this as a vehicle to speak to you and create a podcast. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, so it's, it's like are, not really. Uh, uh, I guess I'm not uh, but, sure. But no, no, <laughs> I, I I guess if we're like playing, you know what I mean? People but, can say it that way, you know, like for sure. I I I, I, I agree with you. Yeah, way. totally, okay. totally, totally. Just but I have but to like, put it out there. A hundred percent, hundred percent. But if you if you look at it like, all right. So that aside, um, reality is whatever you make yourself believe right yeah. so tom DeLong's reality is that um he's a part of some crazy undercover operation that he stumbled upon by like googling shit for 20 years you know and like mm-hmm. you know never fact checking blah, blah 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 and it's like um he was never fact checking i thought he was fact checking the whole time he was fact checking that's why he was, he was online he, <laughs> he was fact checking but not fact checking his sources so it's like uh, you know okay. what I mean? So it's like he would find uh, a per like that's why Joe Rogan's like, oh, this this one guy's full of BS. But Tom DeLonge still believed in him because he's like, he didn't fact check the guy that was giving him the facts. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. was just, he was just so excited about like an illusion. But yeah, so so anyways, like uh, real is only as real as we believe it to be. So like yeah. we because we understand this, we're just playing with our own realities. But at the heart of everything, yeah. I'm pretty sure we both. Well, I, I can say for myself. I don't know. You'd have to like corroborate it, but I honestly believe everything's an illusion. Go to the back. Go to the back. Um, no, not the other way. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. So yeah. Um, like a left. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Wow, you're just like super hidden, bro. Oh, there you go. It's blue now. Okay. Oh. Go in. Oh, okay. You can park your car in there. Oh, sweet. Look at these hacks. Yeah, so like uh, anything, everything is only real as as much as you believe, right? And it's like okay. if you know that that's the truth, then you'll realize that everything is not real, you know? Does that make sense? Everything is not real because, because for the sheer fact that your reality is illusion. Exactly. For the sheer fact. It's only a creation of your mind. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. For the sheer fact that, like, if something's true, it's true always, right? Like, it's in mathematics, it's like, it can't be, like, half true. You know, even though you get half marks. But it's like, it's either you're going to get 2 plus 2 equals 4, but 2 plus 2 doesn't equal 5. You know what I mean? Mm. So, so the fact that you believe something to be real, and I believe something to be real, but they're two different things, then it's not true right because they're con- con- contradicting each other yeah mm. that, that makes sense yeah yes i got it so in in that scenario that would just leave out truth being real therefore truth is not real and everything's an illusion 
Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Cash reward to get them. Where are they going? You want to do Cracked? Let's do Cracked. All right, cool. I've never, never done that one before. Yeah. Do, do you... um. Like, do you, did you, when you began to, like, realize this whole, like, perception reality thing, did it freak you out? No. Did it make oh, you, like... Oh, left me, bro. Oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, I'll be outside. Uh, um, did it freak me out? No, it doesn't freak did, me out. Did, did it make you question anything? Myself. Yeah, but that doesn't scare you at all? No. Oh, that's interesting. I was super freaked what? out, yeah. Because it's like, well, what's, then, so, what's so scary about it? Because of like the fear of like, well, it was like an existential thing. Because then it's like, oh, then what do I know is real? You know, like, oh, is is like, is are my family is my family real? Is the way I look at them real? Is like food real? Are the things that I like even you know, real? It becomes real once multiple people confirm that it's real for them. Also, it it becomes a collective reality. A but, collective reality, yes. Yeah. There you but, go. I like I, but like, which is which is society? You know what I mean? Like, like collective reality, in other words, would just be society, because we're just oh, agreeing okay. upon something that, like, what is a law really? Like, all right, here, here, here. So, like, if you had, if you were at a red light, okay, would you drive through it? If, if I were at a red light, would I drive through it? No. Why not? Because it's for the safety of others. Okay, no, all right, all right. Let, let's say, all right, yeah, you're right, you're right, Touche. I didn't give you the exact variable. All right, let's say you were in the desert and there was a red light. Would you drive through the red light if you were in the desert and nobody was around? Depends how long I was waiting for. It, but, but even the sheer fact that you just said depends on how long I was waiting for suggests that you would adhere to the law that's not even real. Yeah. Right? So that yeah. in itself is like, that's the illusion because the collective reality is I must stop at red lights. But there's nothing there. Like, what is a red light? Like, what is a law? A law is just an agreed upon thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but it's we, like, we went through this. No, it's yeah. crazy. Right? It's like, and it's like, but like, how ingrained in our societal or oh, What do I do here? Keep safe. Oh, do we shoot? We might have to enter. How do we enter this place? Okay. Uh, if anyone's listening, we're doing missions right now, so... New oh, missions we've stay. never done before. So it takes a lot of energy to... Uh, a lot of focus. Yeah. Uh, so, um... So, yeah. So, like, um, under those, it's like... Isn't that crazy? It's like, how do you even... Like, how how much of our programming is, like, subconscious, like pushed upon programming and then when you start to break those rules you know that's when you when you become somebody who like quote hacks unquotes reality you know it's like why do i have to wait for a red light why do i have to go to school why do i have to get a job why do i have to you know what i mean mm -hmm. but a lot of our life is like based around like um adhering to these things that aren't even real you know what, what like it's crazy that like you're in the middle of the desert there's nobody around and you'd still stop at the red light I would too. Yeah, though. just in case. Just in case, just but like in case. in case of what though? You know what I mean? It's like there's nothing there except for you telling yourself not to do it. Yeah. And you know what the scary part is? What if you you never even think of these existential questions before? Then you're just like asleep. You know what I mean? That that's when you become the battery yeah. in the matrix. You know. Is when you just blindly follow, live, you know? follow and live life. Yeah, yeah, and I think that was one of the benefits of like um, studying yoga or like the mind, because like in studying your mind, which I think everyone should do, it's like you begin to realize that your mind is, um, it's like it's directing you in ways that you might not even want, you know, mm -hmm. like what's an addiction really, you know. It is a pleasurable state that somebody, um, what is it? Yeah. Right. Pleasurable like, state that they, uh-oh, what oh, do nice. I do here? I don't know how to do this. I've never done that before. 
So if anyone's listening, we're trying to figure out how to crack this lock. Um, right now, Sydney looks. Sydney's character looks like he's been shot, and it appears as though he's moving the controller back and forth, trying to figure. out. It's crazy how like real this seems right now to me, because I'm like watching you do this, and I'm like, all right, man. Like if, if we weren't doing this podcast, like keeping some sort of. I don't even know what of... you're what you're seeing. Oh really? Really? Oh, you can't see what I'm seeing. No. Oh, right now, I'm watching you like fidget with the um with the lock right now. It's pretty cool. Do you see what I'm seeing? No, I don't. I don't think I see. What do you see? Do you see the lock? Uh, no, I don't see the lock. I just see your character holding something in its hand, uh, like holding onto the thing, trying to figure out the code. Hey, you figured it out. But see, even there, right there, we're 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 emits two realities within one reality. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'm, I'm watching you, and I'm like, oh man, like I'm watching you do this, some crazy stuff, and you're like, oh, I'm, I can see only the lock. I was watching, I can see my character doing it, but it was like the lock is like this, the whole screen, like the middle of the screen. Yeah, exactly. See, there you go. So it's like, what is real? You know? Or like, let, let's say you drink alcohol, right? And then you're like, you're getting all loopy, and you're like, oh man, okay. like everything's moving, but it's not really moving. It's only moving to you. We need to get a car. Do you have Ooh. one? Oh, I should go grab my bike. On the side, running. GTA is such a fun game, yo. It totally puts oh, you into this like, world. Cars. Huh? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Where are you at? Uh, you are. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, cool, cool. I'll jump in yours. Oops. Oh, hit me. It's a good thing you can't feel this. Oh, you're yeah, driving away? No, I'm just moving. All right, cool, cool, cool. Awesome, man. So it, it's it's crazy. Like, like if you, especially if you sit up close to your screen, your your brain is like so lost in like this world. You know what I mean? And yeah. like, have have you? All right, so have you hit this point yet? Like, I find it happening in myself, which is like kind of scary. But like, um, I guess you would call it like dissociative disorder in your in like psychology textbooks, where you're like. You, I'll be outside and I'm like, oh man, this is totally GTA right now. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah, because you're, you're dissociating with yourself. You're like, oh, this is like a video game. But it's not really a video game. Allegedly, according to psychiatrists and stuff. Well, what? Uh, it is a video game. Life or, life or the game itself? Both. Totally, yeah, yeah, I agree with you because it's all perception. Because you you asked the question before about like, well, isn't this like, um, like a distortion of reality? And it's like, um, yes and no, <laughs> you know. It's like, <laughs> it, but but it's like it's willful distortion. That's the thing, right? It's like, ah, uh, yeah, there, you know what I mean. Like, where, where uh, is it's okay. like, the, I'm but not that. Lost. No, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like the yoga has provided us with the ability. Are you getting it? Oh, oh cool. Ah, sweet, sweet. So yoga has provided us with the ability to um, to choose. You know, or no, no, I wouldn't say choose because I don't believe in choice. I'd say it has provided us with the awareness to realize that we can shift our consciousness from one thing to another, and make ourselves believe it's real. You know, where, where it's like, it's like the whole Tom Dolan all, thing. All the whole create, creating reality. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, uh, we are the creator of our own reality. So like this whole yeah. Tom Dolan thing, it's like he's so wrapped up in his, you know, quote unquote reality of like aliens being real that like you don't realize that you're making yourself believe that aliens are real. Like, is it real? Is uh, it even? Because he's not aware of what he's doing to himself. Exactly, yo. Like, even if you look, like, I don't want to like body shame or like whatever. Like, I I love the guy. Honestly, he's great. Uh, he's a great musician. But like, if you look at him, he looks like he eats unhealthy. He's not worked out. You know, he's just obsessed with this one truth that he's trying to figure out. You know, and that's like that is streaming into unhealthy behaviors. You know. Yeah. Cause like even, maybe even, he's so he's so wrapped up in his mind though. But exactly, he's, that's what I'm saying. So like, if that's you don't why even he's not realize, taking care of his body. Exactly, and if you if you don't if you don't like um, if you don't see beyond the mind, if you don't even see your own like obsessions, then how can you know what you're doing? You know, mm -hmm. we've we've become like 
we've become like obsessive um, beings and not like living things anymore. You know what I mean? Uh. But I even feel that with myself though. I'm always trying to get something done. You know what I mean? So it's like, like it's. I feel like you can never escape trying to get things done. Yeah. You know, it'll forever be there. You know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fine. I can. I can see that. Like, I need to go and grab, uh, an apple to eat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You'll never like, escape that. Okay. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, guess, he, I was gonna argue it, but then I was like, oh wait, no. <laughs> no but but <laughs> it's weird that like people, like you know, when they want like a vacation or something, right? It's like I just want to uh, leave. You know, I, I want to like, I want to just chill. And whenever people say like, I just want to chill, it means like, I don't, I don't want to do anything. You know what I mean? But it's like, because you're always well, no. programmed. No? I don't know. When I say I just want to chill, it's not do nothing. It's like. No, no, no. I, yeah, I, I enjoy I the company wanna... of our existence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But I mean, like, you know, those people that like, I'm sure you know those people that like, they're like, I can't wait for vacation. Because we're going to Mexico and like, uh, what are you going to do in Mexico? Or uh, she can eat. But that's an escape of their reality. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, totally. Exactly. It's just an so escape. Get the back door. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Back door. Yeah. Cool. You can drive over it and we're good. Oh. Oh. oh never mind. Oops, sorry. There? Yes. Hey, not bad. 28. That's pretty good. So you got 28? I, yeah, how much do you I got? I got 14. What? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, uh, remember all those times when I was like, oh, I'm getting like 65. I'm getting like 45. I was looking at the grand total, not the addition. I got 14 as well. Oh. Yeah, no oh, wonder. I was like, wait, geez. how come I'm getting so much money right now? But it's like, no, you're actually not, bro. Okay, okay. okay. That makes that, so much That money. makes, yeah, I know. Because it's like, wait, how come the difference is way huge? Yeah, no. Yeah. But yeah, like escapism, I'm, I'm man. I'm not out of my life. I only have 100 right now. You mean 100? I'm at 100k right now. How much do you need to upgrade your... Uh, oops. How much do you need to upgrade your thing? A lot. Okay, I'm going back. All right, cool, cool. We'll see you there, bye. Yeah, you're so fast, yeah. So yeah, like it's escapism the, and like, stuff. Do you... um, Like, yeah, like... It, it's it's weird it, it's almost like our society is so built on like um propagating things and pushing things forward that we don't even um we 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 hit like a red line like our whole lives are about redlining and then we we like break down and we're like i just need a vacation you know what i mean uh, why like why would i why would they do that though? Well, it's just um, those people are not happy with their rea with how their lives are. Exactly, yo. So um, that's what it is. Totally. I was like, it's why is it like that? And I had to think about. it. I was like, oh wait, no, it's because they're unhappy with their lives. For sure, for sure. Have to do it. They call that. You know what I call that? The weekend warriors. Yeah, that's true, yo. That's totally you know that? what they are, yo. Yeah, weekend warriors, man. You know those guys. Yeah, those for people sure. That like work Monday to Friday, Friday night to to Sunday night. They they just go hard. That's crazy, like, though, man. It's like, but people live like that for sure. I know for a sure. Lot. I know. A well, yeah, I know a couple of people like that. So it's like, it is a thing. It, it's almost like it. It's it's almost sad, you know. Like I I find that like whenever I like uh, if I find myself having to go downtown and stuff, and then like I see like hordes of people like doing that like not to knock it though because you have to do it first to understand that you know like there is no salvation in this right so it's like i like i oh what, what? huh i just i just got t-bone uh I oh. <laughs> got you got you yeah so um no no salvation in like the weekend warrior method you know but it's like you have to go through that first because i i remember doing that you know like oh well, let's let's party and stuff but like there's like a limitation to it it's almost like you no but you didn't go hard though you yeah, didn't even go through for sure you know, no because i was like i i don't warrior. see i don't see the purpose in weekend warrior you know it's it kind of like taking me away from my time of doing other things you know especially hangovers too oh it's but brutal. did you did you work did you work 
I've Monday never had to Friday. No, I've never had a job. Yeah, you haven't worked. <laughs> so, so I don't, I don't know what that feels say like. That you, you, yeah. So like, yeah, I've gone through a point where I wanted, like, I was going through it, we but it was like it wasn't like too hard. I only do it once. I'm not the person I'll do it, like Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday. You know, like I'm not one of those. Yeah, yeah. But you felt you definitely felt a sense of like escapism for yourself. Um. I don't know what it was. It was just, you know, I need, yeah, I needed to just, oh, I had to purchase it. Oh, damn it. I can't steal these. Okay. I wanted to, uh, you know, it's just after, you know, you working. Yeah, I used to work 12-hour shifts. Right, yeah. It was when I worked, it was when I worked 10 days straight. Oh, brutal. Yeah, and it was like, okay, I just need, I just need a drink. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> It was one of those ones. So it was like, man, I, I I just need a drink right now, like just to be just to be social. Right. I just right, need right. to be social right now because. But, but why right why now, why be social? You know what I mean? Like it's like why not why not fill your time with like yeah you know, with my friends. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Social and like being with my friends and whatever. Right. Right. It's right, not right. like it's not like going. Like relief and stress. Like, well, that is relieving stress because I, I enjoy comp- their company. Right, 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 right. But what what uh, what made you like turn that around? Like, what made you realize that? Even the fact that you realize you're being a weekend warrior. Like, how many weekend warriors don't realize they're weekend warriors? They're like, no, man, I just like. To well, party. I grew out of it. You know, that's what yeah, happened. Exactly, exactly. I grew out of it, and like, what was it? Uh, I just I don't like drinking that like, much like you just I, saw like <laughs> the you saw like the effects of it you saw like the reality of the situation being like okay i'm just i'm just like band-aiding the solution right now like it's a band-aid solution i don't know like, what it was it, it's it's weird when like you you don't see that level of like awareness like it, i guess it goes back to again like the whole tom long thing it's like they're living their reality so hard that they can't be observant of their own lives you know mm. i wonder if that's why people say like meditation will help you you know and they're like do you meditate and it's like uh i, I could see the benefit I, hate, being... I don't like i don't like when people, when people say, say that, that though. for sure for sure it seems like pretentious and stuff you're like why why like, are you what do you mean by for sure for sure totally totally meditation. totally totally do you I... want to go to that question you want to go there let's ask you your questions then exactly exactly yeah, yeah. you got girl all right oh boy right. Yeah, yeah totally totally but like the the benefit if you were to meditate would be that you would be able to at least see that your mind is like there is a thing called a mind and there's a thing called awareness you know there are two separate things going on you know do not let your awareness be guided by your mind you know guide your mind through awareness okay yeah yeah okay. I, that. I don't know. Re- Reality's like I one guess. of those slippery ones, though. Do you um? <laughs> no, it's all good. It's almost like believing in like Santa Claus, yo. You know those. I do you remember being a kid and believing Santa Claus? You're like, no, it's totally real, yo. Like my parents would never well, lie to me. Or I you? I you... believing when I was like maybe when I was like grade two. Grade oh, one. really? Eh. Early. Oh, early, okay. Early. What? Oh, you had like, is it because of older siblings? Like, how come? <sighs> I don't know. I'm just it's like, no. You know, no. Interesting. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. It's not real. For sure, yeah. yeah. And, I, and, then, and then as you go, know, you understand what, what it is. And it was just, uh, you know, for the corporations to sell, sell on their products. Uh huh. Yeah, totally. A marketing thing yeah, it was created for marketing so like yeah no thanks yeah totally yeah uh-huh. that, that's one of the yeah, that's the crazy evil about reality it's like it's just what many different ways can i use to like sell products you know so money driven do you know what's crazy to think about like how did the people of the 60s because there's this whole like enlightening movement blah, blah blah like waking up in the 60s too but it's like how did that fall apart you know Um, I have my theory, but I'd just like to see what you think. 
They got way too into the acid. <laughs> so you think they? So people they're... thought they were crazy. So they, if they laid off it a little bit, you know, just did it, did it for, you know, um, did it more controlled. Uh huh. Yeah. I think it would have. It would have been better than just outright just going to the one extreme to the next for sure for sure yeah, yeah. i see what you're saying so you think right, the there's downfall... no slow build it was just a straight up like everyone on lsd and it's like, yeah oh it's, totally. it's like one of those it's like okay that's why i was like it, it, it was it seemed very dangerous i would say right 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 right, right. it was dangerous because it got too many people at, at, at one time like you know it was like it was just like a huge movement of people doing it Right, 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 right. Um, but but they were all but like it was like eased in. But they were all claiming like and you know it was like, strategic and it would but, what was that? But they were all claiming like you know oh the government's bad all this stuff blah 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 you know what I mean like like there was but a like lot of, they were realizing they were starting to realize things that you know maybe they didn't want to know. Oh, the, I the see. government didn't want them to know. But but, but then but then and afterwards they were using LSD so much. It was like yeah, it's because of this, they're crazy. These but, people but, are crazy because they're taking this LSD. It's a dangerous drug. For but sure, they're for seeing sure. The truth. To totally, totally, totally. But but like in that, it's like how did those people that once believed in all of those truths, they went back to work? Because you know those those sixties babies became baby boomers. And then now we have a society that's like, because it's like you're looking at the '60s and you're like, oh man, they were, that was the enlightening period. And it's like, was it really? Because the '60s people are the ones who now run government. Mm. You know, I I, I personally well, who believe was part of that movement though. The the what? what that's movement? the thing. The '60s movement. There's, there's two sides. There's two sides to it. Like, which side is the one that's in control right now? To, yeah, true. Very true. Very true. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I I think what really got them though was uh, kids. When you uh, when you have like uh, when you have like a whole population on LSD and they're all just making love and stuff, and then you have all these like accidental births, and then you hit like a point where it's like, okay, you have to provide for your kid now. You know, stop partying, go get a job. You know, like they they realize um, they realize that they I don't think money. it's like that. Yeah, well, you start. That's when they start prioritizing what's important to them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah for sure. But I I think it's like oh, if I, if I want what I want, then I'm gonna have to make money so I can go get it. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I'll have to stop partying so I can get it. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So what I'm I'm thinking now is that you know you have to go one way super hard, then you have to go the other way super hard, then you meet in the middle, right? Sorry, you're cutting off. Oh, sorry. You are sorry. cutting off. Uh, you you have to go one way super hard, and then you have to go the other way super hard, and then you meet in the middle, right? So you have to go through both extremes in order for you to go to the right. middle. Exactly. So so. I think we're the byproduct of those two extremes because the LSD movement, the whole 60s movement was like, we're going to go anti-government. And then those people were like, oh shit, we have kids. We need to buckle down. And then they went super hard in the other direction where it's like, okay, we need money. We need money. We need money. Right. And then mm -hmm. now we're beginning to realize that there's a balance that can be had where it's like, you need a certain amount of money, you know, whereas like one side was like, screw money. And the other side was like, okay, get all the money you can. And then now it's like you you meet people that are living completely odd existences, you know, because of the internet too. Like you can make money in different ways. Well, we we think like that where it's like I'm I am balanced with this for my life, that amount That's of money true. for my life. But there's a lot of people that are still chasing. For uh -huh. money. So Actually, like, you, you know, I, is I I agree with you because like. Because yeah. like you, you got me thinking. It's like actually, it could just be a vacuum. Because all the people that I watch and listen to, they think like me. Because you need to fuel your mind with similar thoughts if you want to get there, right? Sorry, you're, you're cutting off, man. Oh you're no! Cutting off. You're cutting off. Yeah. Or, Even the. Okay, there. Much better. Good. Okay, good. We're back. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So, um, we. We need to fuel, like, I was thinking, like, maybe I'm actually in a vacuum myself, you know, maybe I'm in a reality that I don't even know I'm in, you know, because, like, when you said, like, 
how many people actually believe what we believe and it's like actually you're right because i don't watch anything that is in the contrary you know oh uh, that's true right so it's like it's like i i automatically went to, yeah we're, we're having this new movement but it's like are we really having this new movement because there's still a lot of people out there that don't even understand what's going on you know mm-hmm. but uh well i could it also be like lower socioeconomic statuses you know what i mean like if you are if you are off like if you have a lower status in life like economically you're less likely to realize these truths yeah i did not ask hear your question sorry oh no or hear what you're saying this last part uh if you it could be like lower socioeconomic statuses you know okay because like maybe the only reason why we can even think about these truths is the fact that we have um the time and energy and money to to think about them you know what i mean but like you're cutting off you're cutting off you're cutting off oh brutal are you uh are you like are people using your internet you're cutting off oh brutal i think uh hello hey oh no so if anyone's listening my internet is very bad right now yeah that is what's going on so if anyone's listening right now oh sydney left the party and that is how we will end that podcast talking about lower socioeconomic statuses talking (laughs) okay so well i will wrap this wrap this sucker up home this is one of the problems with digital um digital podcasting where if somebody does not have the exact same amount of internet that you have they will be forced to be kicked off when other people start using their internet that being said um understand that your reality is completely based off of what you believe because all life is a perception and the storehouse for that perception that uh that modulator the moderator for your consciousness is your mind so manage your mind manage your life i'm totally a spokesperson right now support us on patreon no don't even support us because that's gonna be a lot of money just uh well unless you have the money uh just uh like and comment that would mean the world to the shawl because he is a cutie till next time stay humble stay cute bye-bye